Well, hello there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogbelt333, and welcome back to Warrior 4, Thousand Oak Reich. Shit, I'm out of water. I should have gone for a refill, but I'm still here. As, uh, the Russian Empire. In the last video, well... Despite having what I can only describe as Vasilius front lines and encirclements uh, between both uh, between both sides I've ever seen in a Hoi four match, um, we are getting the upper hand, and we are just about ready to uh, start getting the final push. We ended up. Uh, Got uh, Corellia through some brilliant negotiations that are so brilliant uh, it it doesn't even it just shows the ingenuity of the uh, Russian diplomats who are able to exchange return of land uh, from the people we're at war with. Ukraine is still not capitulated. They they have two provinces left. There's little there's quite literally nothing left of the Ukrainers. Um, we were leaving off on our last note when we were talking about how uh It's a little weird that Ukraine is still alive. And we had to take him out completely. Um, we've lost manpower. And a couple divisions, but it doesn't matter much. I could probably rush it. Um... Gonna clean up that little this little mess here. Uh, we're gonna recapture St. Petersburg. So we're getting there. They managed to we, yeah, we've made it to Corelli before they managed to retake it, just about. Um, so the fact that this has gone down as it has, it's, it's funny. You know, I you know I have a sense of humor about it. I choose to have a sense of humor about it. Um, they caught us with our pants down. Oh. Wasn't that interesting? The turns are about to table, huh? It's an offensive line. Like that. And let's get to pushing, boys. That's all occupied states. We're not going to get into actual core territory until really about here. How many divisions do they have at this point? Oh my god. I thought our army was getting a little pitiful. But, uh... Uh, let's go retake St. Petersburg. Um, if the Toronto Accord wants to go ahead and uh, go after these guys, that was a damn good opportunity to. Let's some separatist set of People's Republican Corelli so our planes don't melt from. Yeah. 
Uh, let's go ahead, break through their ciphers. Gives us a bonus. Meanwhile, we're just rushing into a Germany proper. You know, let's decipher the, the finish one. Just for the heck of it. For the love of the game. And if we capitulate Germany, we've won. I don't know if I'd call it liberation of Warsaw. More like the, uh, the under new management of Warsaw. I think that's probably more accurate. Remember, we're, we're better than the Nazis, but in this case, it's, uh, it's really a question of how much better we are. <clears throat> Honestly, we could probably just get working on fucking... We could get working on fucking. Um, could probably work on... Fucking rushing all these VPs down. And yeah, not by what merit. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, Finland is gonna regret. Um, all, all of what they decided to do. I'll put it like that. God, they got they had cores on all of this and everything, and they still gave it up. They managed to fill, figure out the Karelian money hole. Finlandia triumphant, my ass. Diablo, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. The creation of a Finnish state outside of the Russian Empire is a Bolshevik construction. Tsar Vladimir, probably. And I think Tsar Vladimir just wants to be a good, like, rule shit. Not be a puppet. That's what he wants to do. He's the equivalent of the grilling meme, I think. I just want to rule, for God's sake. But, uh, he can't. That's sort of what I've gotten from uh, the events. Fighter twos. Oh yeah, we have an... <laughs> Our Air Force. Um. Get some planes. Could have done this way earlier, but uh, There we go. 
Didn't force you to do any of that, guys. <coughs> you did this to yourselves. Just had a... Is this... No, uh, it's not Tabby's wet dream because, uh, there's no Lexi. And also, too many people are still alive. We're not actively murdering the population. Or the whole... The general population, at least. So I don't think... I don't think Tabby would be too into this. Going to Western Poland. Though we're just about out of Western Poland. We're getting there. Rush B, Erlin. True. There we go. Rushpi. I'll take that off. The line from there into there. Take all you guys. No? Okay, I know what happened now. I know what happened now. Take Riga. These guys will seem to capitulate in a much more uh, reasonable time. Who? Before they die, who's running to the show? Uh, it's uh, Bald Man. Born Man. The egg, yeah, pretty much. Let's move in and take Hamburg. And then... Slovakia is dead. Yeah, we got the curling pocket, man. These pockets used to be ridiculous. Now they're horrifying. Oh, that's cute. They're still hoping... They can survive. No. Although I don't fully like what the fuck's going on here. Here's our Borman can still win, guys. You thought NC was bad, man. And the thing is, we don't even have that many troops. We were even outnumbered at the start, it's just... AI incompetence. I mean, they're, they're, I, I'm not trying to hype up my game skills, I'm not very confident myself, but... I mean... If I can do this... I mean... It helps. Just pointing it, clicking at this point. 
Point four AI proves we ever need a, never need to worry about a robot uprising. Probably not, honestly. We got we got Nevsky grad. That's fun. Got this fat ass encirclement. Um uh, we have to go into there to capitulate also, and I see how it is. Well, we are continuing to push through. Bald man is gonna be a dead man. At this point, we point and we click. They have cores on this, they do. We'll encircle the, the, the whole one guy they have left in there. At this point we're using tanks in the mountains. It doesn't it doesn't matter. How many divisions do we have left? Eleven to eighteen. To start uh, doing random research at this point because it doesn't matter that much. Because we. have this. Uh, barely on par for what Germany has today. They might even have less than modern Germany, honestly. Oh no. Excuse me? I mean, that's cool. You're still gonna die, though. Well, let's be clear here. 11 to 16 at this point, so even less. We point, and we click. And like that, we won. Fucking Corellia. <sighs> well, Danish occupation. Late, ladies and gentlemen, I guess Denmark is now a uh, a core part of uh, the Russian Empire. I guess I should say the Russian Reich. Now the Polish state. Okay, Slovakia. Meet the old boss, same as the old one. And then the fate of Germany. Oh, 
Well, that's nice that we just let Benelux and... That's nice that we just let Switzerland go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. That is horrible. Did... Did we forget that province? None of this needed to happen, Kakon. Exactly. Let's create Nevsky land. Build Moscow. And demolish the folk solid. And I mean, we could restore order to these areas. But I mean... Everything else is just kind of cake at this point. Um... I guess we'll do some quick, uh, we'll speed run conquering the rest of the Russian Empire real quick. But, let's drop that out of a stock as well. Levostok is one of the cities ongoing hit heavy reconstruction. The old Russian port was battered by the constant endless war of the century. The Tsar, this time, together with his prime minister, would be taking talking person of construction workers to several building sites in the far eastern city, all closely documented by state media used as a positive piece of propaganda. The workers would bow down before the emperor prior to being asked several questions by the interested monarch. First on the line was a young man who seemed to be quite nervous. He bowed to the Tsar and stretched the hand, hand of the might. He stretched his hand? Damn. What is your name? Anastoly Kovalio, of your majesty. How old are you? 22, your majesty. All these small interviews are being recorded by an enormous camera crew. This will make a fine piece of propaganda for the reconstruction efforts. Another man bowed down before the emperor and shook a hand of prime minister. Opposite the last one, he was a gigantic man. Gigantic man. What is your name? Pyotr Vastanov, of your majesty. 48. Lamir smiled at the sight of his subjects, but the emperor didn't get to greet people in such a close way. Uh, Boris Zhigunov, 34, Pavel Fedorov, 28, uh, that guy, 36, that guy, 61. The Tsar found himself in the state of joy he hadn't felt in a long, to long time. To be able to walk, talk with normal everyday people was a luxury for a monarch. It would all end with the emperor taking a shot of vodka with subjects. The Tsar raised his glass, followed by others, and gulped down the last shot, and cut. The cameraman shouted. The film and crew began packing. The construction workers gave one final bow, bow to the Tsar before his Prime Minister approached him. Your Majesty, it's time we leave. We have more places to tour. If only talked to a handful of workers in the site, it would be impolite to not greet them all. Your Majesty, with all respect. <clears throat> this place is unregal for a monarch. Vladimir stared at the Prime Minister, didn't stay at work, only stared in my anger. Your motorcade is ready, Your Majesty. Uh. Um, let me give my, uh, country review. Um, it's some fun content. Um, uh, it is not nearly as, uh, developed as it should be. Uh, well, not nearly as developed when you compare it to, um, the other tags, I guess. Your, uh, your Russian Republic had some, uh, a bit more stuff it felt like. Georgia, Azerbaijan, Kyrgyzstan. We could fuck on them from the memes, but I think we'll just go we're gonna do the last conquering. Click the reunite button and uh, leave it. Uh, there. I can't replace this guy. Um, what is he again? Yeah, let me replace him. 
Um, we're out. Of, we ran out of focuses pretty early on. It's a little annoying. Uh, so it's not nearly as developed as some of these other ones, but it's still a decent amount of fun. Want to experience true pain? <laughs> I'm good with playing. I'm good on the Rodzewski one. I'll, I'm. <sighs> oh well, now they surrender. Okay. Um, I, I was gonna play him in uh, TNO, but. One of the reasons I haven't played him yet is I could not monet I could not touch that video with a uh, you know ads would not touch any of those videos, which uh, it's not I'm not the pickiest on getting monetization, but it's also uh, the sort of thing where I have to at least keep it in mind because you know a guy's got to eat, and not that I'm eating much from this anyway, but. Store order these guys and these guys. Store order all these guys, these blokes. Actually, we weren't ready to store order them, but how hard can that be? It's fun to flesh out that, but fuck, it's hard. Yeah. Um. So Jesus. Holy infrastructure, Batman. Um. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm not too picky at this point. I mean, we're wrapping up after this anyway. This is the last part for the YouTube people. already out. Feels bad to be them. I should probably do something about that over there. But hey, at least they won't be entrenched. push. Those are strangely, uh, well enforced. I mean, it is mountains. So it's not like they have, uh, much in the way of, uh, Hashtag <laughs> just Armenian things, yeah. Now we'll turn Polish cores. One thing that would have been kind of cool, and maybe they can add this in the future, because I get they are a Muscovian breakaway tag. They're not really supposed to last this long, so, uh. You know, I, I, I don't want to shit on the devs too much, because it's cool that they have enough content for a breakaway state that probably isn't going to do much anyway, most of the time. But, I would like to see a power struggle between the uh, Vladimir and any loyals he might pick up, and then the usual Flangists. Kind of like, um, in TNO with a Cheetah. That, would, that might be pretty cool.
This might be our Afghanistan here. But, uh... At least we were able to actually conquer Afghanistan. Our Afghanistan, at least. But yeah, here we go. We have 36 manpower in the fucking bank. Um, that number boggles my mind a little bit. And there we go, we're done expanding. War is no more. We have negative non-core population available. That is amazing. We have negative people at our disposal who aren't part of our core nation. Well, my friends, it's time. In what seemed like an impossible feat worthy of the history books, the Russian Empire, restored under the leadership of Tsar Vladimir I, has vanquished the last of Russia's warlord contenders and reunified the troubled nation. An overtly totalitarian regime, a new Russian Empire is now dominated by ultra-nationalistic Russians, following the principles of Falangism. The Toronto Accord was quick to denounce the new government as being worse than even the Soviet Bolsheviks, but the Russian Empire's territorial and geopolitical ambitions appear to be unfazed. Bozhny, Zyarya, Kraniki. And I'm guessing we don't get any neat little focuses to wrap things up. Nope. It's just this. Eh, say la vie. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm at home on YouTube. If you like it, leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you uh, want to see more content like this, I'm doing a lot of... I do a lot of Hoi 4. I'm going to start doing some more Europa as well. Because I'm having a lot of fun with that. So if you're interested in any of that, check it out. Uh, hit the sub button. Notification bell. Do whatever you want, want to do. I will not stop you. If you have any uh, comments... Feedback, concerns, suggestions on what to do next. I check out the uh, comment section down link below. Leave some stuff there. I read all the comments again. I do appreciate any all feedback you might have for me. If you want to send a few bucks more way every month, check out my Patreon. If you want to see me do a source of live, check out my Twitch. If you want to uh, chat up the games, check out my Discord. If you want to see me, uh, you want to see me do non-gaming related content, check out my second channel. All which are down in the description box below. That's really it for now, my friends. Thank you, as always, for watching. My name has been Mr. Dogboat333. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time, whatever, whenever that time may be. Goodbye.